Are we live? We're live. We're live. Yay. Hey, y'all. It's oh, been a while. Oh. It's been a minute. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah. Sorry, my hair is still wet from the... Uh... <coughs> yeah, she had Shower. just gotten back from vacation last week, and I came in on Thursday, and my makeup was all done and everything, and I came in the office and sat down, and she looked at me, and she was like... <gasps> We're supposed to be live in like four minutes and she was a hot mess. Jammies, hair still slept on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's not happening. It wasn't happening. <laughs> That's what happens when you get home from Disneyland on a Wednesday night. It just right doesn't come together well. <laughs> so anyway, we'll hope that you guys, um, I hope that we are really live, even though it says that we're live. I'm rocking a cough drop because I'm still... Oh, there we go. I'm getting rid of my cold. Hey, there they are. Hi, Hello, everyone. people. Um, and so it's at the end of it, but I still have that agitation in my throat. And I don't want to cough and hack through the entire chat today. So I thought I would throw in a cough drop. So if you see it being moved around and are annoyed by it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's better than me hacking up a lung while we're doing this. Um... Okay, so we have a fun project today. I feel like I don't know if there's anything new for us to really share. Uh, yeah, no. Um, kind of same old, same old here. Um, working, doing stuff. We are packaging these um, goodies to go out in the mail today for my people who purchased in October. Um... I do want to say uh, really quick, if you are a regular follower of mine and you may have noticed something different this week, usually around the 23rd of every month, I release a free gift with order and you're going to have to wait till November 1st because I'm changing up the way I'm doing things. So November 1st, you'll see a brand new program for me, something fun that I'm doing, um, but um, yeah, so... So if you're like, where's her like free offer that she does every month? That's why. That's why it's not there. To be announced, ladies. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. So we're going to get started and we are going to create a fun card today. I'm going to show you hello in North Carolina. It seems like we have a lot of people in North Carolina. Hi from Minnesota. That's where I want to move. I... Why? Why do you say that? She says these things, but I feel like they're lies. It's not a lie I bet to want to move somewhere. Do you know how expensive <clears throat> California is? It's insane. And Minnesota, I don't know why in my head that's the state I want to go to, but it just is. I want to live on a lake I think with that a little you fire pit. <laughs> are a sensitive flower because you've lived in California for so long and you would never make it. Or I would die in the winter. Like it would be, I would complain so much. <laughs> we're, we're delicate flowers. <laughs> we're delicate flowers here in California. Yeah. Um, okay, so our project is this card. This was the card I was going to do on Monday, but then Stampin' Up! decided to have that crazy sale that... <laughs> What didn't go great, frankly. And uh, <laughs> am I supposed to say that out loud? That was my inside voice. Um, and so um, anyway, I didn't make this. And so now we're going to make it today. And I don't think you've ever done heat embossing. I have never done it. So, so shoot, we're going to teach sister how to do heat embossing, which will be fun. Patricia says snow, 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 <laughs> snow. Yeah, it would be pretty crazy, but I don't know. It's just so cute there. I love it. You've never even been there. Yeah, but I've seen movies there and stuff. <laughs> Do you see what I'm dealing with? Grumpy old men. Yeah, and Come people on. have seen movies about California, and we know they're how accurate they are. Yeah, we're all granola heads. Yeah. That's what people think. Totally not accurate. Okay, so um, folding this in half to make... A regular card why don't you yep I'm on and it. we're using this stamp set Merry Christmas to all which is a beautiful set has great sentiments and um, there's dies that go with this let me show you those I'm going to find them 
I should have pulled them before the video started. Shouldn't I have? Shame. This is so cute. Okay, so these are the dies. They cut out these big words. So I've already cut the word Mary. Um, oh, it's over here. Twice. And we're going to stack these up. Like and, right on top of each other? Mm -hmm. just so that they're it. just a little bit sturdier. Okay. So that's something we're going to do. But first I'm going to show you how to heat and boss. Okay. Okay. So um, I lived in California and Alaska. I will take Alaska any day over California. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. I yeah. It. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> I, I visited Alaska in the summer and it was beautiful, but I would not want to live there in the winter. I also used the swirls and curls embossing folder to create this beautiful swirly background. And so we're going to use that. And all of the products are listed in the description of the video. And there's also a link to my shop and to Katie's shop. So you can shop with either one of us. And then we're also going to use these metallic pearls on the card. Okay. So this is a piece of vellum and, um, the goal here is not to put your hands all over it too much because we have oil on our hands and the oil will actually get on the paper and then the embossing powder will stick to the areas that are oily. The embossing powder is really fine and it likes to stick to everything, which is why we have this awesome tool, which is called an embossing buddy and it's got like a talcum powder in it. Talcum? Yeah. Works for me. Talcum. 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 Tomato. Tomato. I okay. Believe. So you just rub this over the top and then that kind of creates, you know, like a non-slick surface or wait, a slick surface, non-stick. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, oh, got a stamp first. That helps. So this is Versamark ink and Versamark ink is a sticky ink. If you want to put your finger in it and fill it. Oh, see? So then you ink up your stamp that you want to stamp with. And I've kind of lined this up on my grid mat so that I could make sure I stay straight. And I'm going to stamp off to the side here because I want my Mary to kind of go this way. Sure. So I'm going to just stamp down and straight up. And as you can see, you really can't see it. It's pretty clear. Um, if you hold it just right in the light, you can see it's on it's there. It's like a watermark. It's exactly what it does. It creates a watermark. So you can use this ink pad for um, watermarking uh, as well, or just doing a cool design in the background. But it takes a really long time for this ink to dry. So, um, I mean, we're talking a few hours. So you either have to heat set it, or you have to just set it aside and let it dry. So that is my embossing powder that I've poured on there. And you can see that no embossing powder stuck anywhere else, just to where I stamped. And then we're going to heat set it. Now, I have to kind of heat set off camera. So um, we'll pull this back in so you have something to look at. But, <laughs> but um, I have to heat set off camera because my cord won't reach. But one of the things I want to tell you when you heat set with vellum is you have to kind of... First, we're gonna turn on my heat gun and I'm gonna let it heat up. So it's sitting over to the side and it's getting nice and hot. And then I'm going to hit it onto the um, powder, but I'm gonna like kind of do it on and off, on and off, on and off, because if with vellum, it's kind of like a delicate paper. So if you were to just hold it there, it'll just like bow like this. Okay. So you kind of have to like- You don't wanna overheat it. Right. And then you'll be able to see this will change and get like shimmery and melty. So I don't know if I, yeah, it's not going to reach. So Katie can entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> Good tell luck. A, tell a joke. <laughs> Who can, I, I don't know appropriate jokes. Just going to look at some comments. A lot of hellos from everybody. Okay. You're off the hook. Oh, great. Fantastic. Did you go to the bottom? Yeah. Okay, so there it's all heat set. You can see how it's all shimmery. It's so pretty. I know. So now I'm going to add, you want to do these? You can make pretty wedding, wedding invitations with this. Oh, yeah. Set up here. For sure. For sure. Uh, let's see. 
let's use this guy, the fine tip glue pin. So you can just kind of, oh, I bet I've never even opened it. Accurate. Never <laughs> opened it. False. <laughs> Blackberry. Blackberry. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> um, I wonder if anybody knows what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So this is our problem is like, honestly, we have all these little funny things we say and do. And we're always like, oh, we should sit. Don't, don't be funny right now. Wait until we're on video. But then I'm like, I don't think people are going to get what we're saying. There's a lot of stuff that's like, you know, like from a TV show or that we've watched a million times or like, right. you know, little inside stuff that like, if you're in like, if you watch that particular show, too, then you probably get it. But right. if not, then we just sound like rambling idiots. So. Pretty much. <laughs> so there's that. And we aren't really that smart. We like a lot of TV. It's true. It's true. <laughs> We're not book smart people. Come on. Oh. We're street smart. Well, Katie is. So apparently I'm just really dumb. Mm -hmm. that's what that boils down to no she's actually incredibly intelligent don't let her lie to you no not true I'm not I'm not you don't just build a, a, a successful business by being see she can't even talk I can't even talk <laughs> <laughs> proof proof of what I'm I saying. love embossing it's magical every time and I've been stamping 20 years yep yeah that's how I feel about it it's so pretty and fun and there's so many fun techniques with it. And it's quick. It doesn't like right take very long, honestly. Okay, so we've stacked these and I'm just kind of lining them up. They actually don't have to really be perfect, perfect, perfect. Coffee, coffee, coffee. But they <laughs> but they they should be, you know, somewhat close. So there's those. So that makes those just a little bit thicker. Um, I still think you need to take your show on the road. You guys are so funny. Huh? I don't think we're that funny. Yeah, I don't know if people would actually pay to watch us. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay to watch us. You know who I would pay to watch? I mom so hard. Does anyone know about these people? You I know mom about so hard. Do you not know about these it's girls? It's on Facebook, right? Yeah, they're Facebook people. Their Facebook page is called I Mom So Hard, and they are hysterical. Hysterical. I tried to go see their show, but they were sold out. Mm. You know J.P. Sears? That no. That funny guy? Yes, you do. He's got the red hair that's long, and he's on Facebook, and he did that whole thing about, like... Oh, if, that guy. The oh, yoga he guy. He was just in Sacramento, and Courtney went and saw him, and I was so jealous, because he is so funny. He is yeah. funny. He... Was he, is he a Facebook he just like, sensation? Yeah, he's Facebook. And he just, like, makes videos, like... Oh, my God, they're Just hysterical. making fun of stuff. Like, he did one, like, if uh, meat eaters acted like vegans. And I literally rolled laughing. It was so funny. It was hysterical. J.P. Sears. Go check him out. J.P. Sears. I mom so hard. I love how we're advertising everybody else. I know. We'll be expecting my check in the mail. Yeah, right. <laughs> you better expect hard. <laughs> Who's this? Love that embossing folder. So pretty. Yes, I agree. It is a beautiful embossing fol folder. Boulder. I told you. Not very smart. <laughs> Can't talk. Um, Freedom fries. <laughs> um, Alright. So, I'm removing the dimensionals from the back. Because I want this piece to pop up. And now we're going to layer it down. And the measurements for all of this is on my blog post from Monday. So I've linked to that blog post in the description of the video, I think. I did. I meant to, if I didn't. Okay, so then here is a trick for adhering vellum because it's clear. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you right. were to just put glue on it, you're going to see it. It'll look like poop. So, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it will look like poop. <laughs> you're five. 
Who says <laughs> that? I have a four-year-old, so everything is poop in our house. Nips. And nips, yeah. <laughs> God. She's the only little kid I know that says that. She is such a goofball. We were coming over here one day and she didn't have a shirt on yet. And she's like, well, I better get a shirt on. I don't want Aunt Wendy to see my nips. And I was just like, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> it's probably a good idea to always leave the house with a shirt on. <laughs> Standard. Yeah. Standard operating procedure. Oh, Lordy. She's nuts. Oh my God. Okay. I have to tell you guys this. And I hope to God my cousin Shannon watches the replay of this. Oh. Okay. So last night she calls me. So, okay, back up to this story. Uh, I earned the trip to Greece for Stampin' Up! And I'm going next year. Sadly, sister is not going with us. We'll live. It's sad. She's going to live. She'll go on a trip in the future. It'll be fine. But it's kind of getting that time where we're having to start talking about some of the planning of this. And I literally either am super excited or I want to jump off the Empire State Building out of fear. <laughs> like, I am terrified. I've never traveled outside of the country in my life. Neither has my cousin. We some simple people. That's all there is to it. But everybody had a first time leaving the country at some point. Like, they're going to be fine. Sure. So, anywho, we're a little stressed over it. Well, I'm stressed. She's really not yet. But I think she will be. Because, anyway... So, um, so we were kind of talking about some things last night and she goes, what? <laughs> I don't even know if I can get through this without, without laughing. So she, I, she goes, what are we going to do on an airplane for nine hours? Because there's a, the flight leaves from Chicago to Rome and it's nine hours. Yeah. What are we going to do on an airplane for nine hours? I'm like, well, I'm going to download a bunch of videos on my iPad and I'm not going to take a book because I don't want to read. And again, back to the not being very smart thing, which everyone disagrees with, by the way. Haven't even been reading it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I have seen no evidence that you are not smart. <laughs> right. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay, so, um, well, you just got some. I don't like to read. I used to love to read, but not anymore. It's boring to me now. Um, I can't get enough done. So, um, anyway, so we're talking. Yeah. And I'm like, well, we're going to download some movies. We, you know, we can watch movies. I'm sure we'll sleep some. Yeah, for sure. And she, I say, oh, we could bring a deck of cards. Okay, to back this up, back this story up a minute. Every single time my cousin Shannon comes to visit us from Montana, she lives in Montana, she brings a game called Farkle. F-A-R-K-L-E. Does anybody know Any this game? Out there? Any Farklers? <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's all going to go downhill, people. Okay, this is the card. Let me finish the card, and then we're going to go to story time. So you're just going to take your scissors and put a few little dotty dots in a row or however you want to put them really this one's running away from me it's like I don't want to go on the card like do you ever think when you're eating that your food wants to get away so you don't eat it sometimes I think that no I have never once thought that my food is trying to run away so because by then it's already been dead so might have tried to get away a while ago. But even a carrot. <laughs> like, there could be a carrot that's like, oh, man. I was <laughs> hoping to hang out with the rest of the carrots. No. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, there's my finished card. <clears throat> Here's the other version. <clears throat> They're pretty much the same. I left more room here to do the little dotty dots, but I think I like this one better, actually. Really? Let me see. You decide. No, I like this one better. Oh, Okay. Anyway, we're going to go to to full screen of us. That's a lot of people. Okay. So, we're going to finish this story. Hey, Tiffany, you're just in time for story time. Sit down. Have a glass. <laughs> so, we... So, we're on the phone. And so, the back story is that every time she comes to visit California, 
she brings this game Farkle and she obsessively wants us to play it. I'm not kidding. Like she'll be like, guys, let's play Farkle. Are we going to play Farkle tonight? We should play Farkle tonight. I've still never played it. I've still <laughs> never played it either. But she brings it every time. And she's like, it's so fun. It's going to be such a fun game. We're going to have so much fun. It's so much fun. You're going to love it. And she really doesn't talk like this. But I'm just saying, that's how excited she right. is about the game. Every time. When I talk to her, she'll be like, oh, yeah, we had a mean game of Farkle. <laughs> a mean game of Farkle? The name of the game. Right. You could just have fun with that for a while. It's just redonk. So, which, so is that word. But anyway. Yeah. So, she loves this game. I've never played it. Sister's never played it. She brings it every time. We hear about the Farkle. We never quit hearing about the Farkle. <laughs> so, last night, I say, <laughs> I say, while well, I'm on the phone with her, and we're talking about the trip now yes, flying to Greece. to Greece and I say or flying to Rome and I say well we could bring a deck of cards and she says I'm not kidding she goes oh, we could bring pocket farkle <laughs> play pocket farkle. pocket farkle all day every day farkle i was like you've got to be kidding i was laughing so hard so then she says we oh were getting God. when we went to Al they just went to alaska her and her husband just went to alaska and she was like when we were leaving for alaska we got like halfway to the airport or something and her husband says hey did you pack the pocket <laughs> Of your oh day God. is pocket, pocket farkle. farkle. <gasps> I swear to God, you guys. Shannon, I love you so much. Be real. I yes, <laughs> we love her dearly. She's gonna oh laugh hysterically God. if she watches this. It was so funny, and so she was like, "Man, no, I didn't." And he was like, "That would have been so much fun. We could have played it like right here on this little table." Oh man, I it was hysterical. Pocket <laughs> farkle. Anyway, so oh. I'm sure I'll be playing plenty of Pocket Farkle on my trip to Yeah, you can finally Greece. learn because you're going to be trapped on a plane with it for hours. And she <laughs> she's like a dog with a bone. She oh will not let it go God. until I play that game. I honestly don't know how we've never ended up playing. I think it's one of those things like... We run out of time. The family and... will be all together for a dinner when she's visiting. And then by the time that gets cleaned up and everyone like visits for a little... Like before you know it, it's 10, 11 o'clock at night and... You know what's going to happen is she's, we're going to go and we're going to play the pocket Farkle and I'm going to come home oh and my I'm going to be like a Farkle addict. <laughs> <laughs> a Farkler. A Farkler. <laughs> Die hard Farkler. Hello, my name is Wendy. I'm a Farkler. Oh man. <sighs> Pass the pigs. I think I've heard of that. I haven't. How about travel, travel farkle? I think that's what pocket farkle is. Maybe it's just less. <laughs> maybe it's easier it's to just, say if you say travel said, farkle. <laughs> she said it's in a teeny. Oh, this is even funnier. So she goes, it's like in one of those little teeny containers that you know how we used to have like film and a camera and you had to oh put it in God. a little container. It's like in a little, it has little tiny dice and it's in a little container. I'm like, that's lovely. So we're going to be going through customs and they're going to be like, what's in the container? And you're going to say, Pocket Farkle. <laughs> and they're going to think it's some sort of freaky American drug they've not heard of. Oh my of. god, Pocket Farkle. Oh my god. Oh, Mary Ellen says, I play the game too, I love it. Farkle Attic. Yeah. Anyways, that's my fun story for oh the day. Oh my god, that was too good. I we, my, uh, 
my cousin Shannon and I laughed hysterically last night over that pocket. Shannon's a good person to laugh with. She is. She's pretty dang funny. Neither one of us could breathe. It took us a moment to catch our breaths because it is. It just sounds funny. It does. Just the, like I said, the name alone, you could just have some fun with that for a while. <laughs> Pocket Farkle. <laughs> oh okay. my gosh, guys. Have fun, people. Purchase stuff from us, please. Buy love things. That. Love you. <laughs> love you a long time. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.